back to some awful content by me, Carnage GT, and it's back on GT Sport for the Nations Cup, and I am going to be doing this in the Toyota SRF P94344, whatever you want to call it, um, i.e. Gran Turismo's favourite child, and yeah, everyone picks this car for this particular race around Goodwood, and I actually enjoyed this race, it was quite fun. It was a bit more entertaining than a few of the others that uh, we've previously done in this in this car anyway. So Goodwood, yeah, pretty pretty fast corners, and uh, my qualifying didn't really show that, as I didn't post a very good qualifying lap at all, which is typical for one of my videos. I don't post a good qualifying lap, and never tend to post a good qualifying lap because I am shoddy. Yeah, so. I didn't really take a good line through here. I don't know what it was. I think really what it is, is the last chicane I found really, really, really difficult to get my head around. I don't know why. If I actually knew, no, no. I think I do know why. It's because normally I'll spend ages practicing with this. I just decided let's jump in and do it. So I didn't really put as much practicing down as what I probably should. As you'll see as I come up here, instead of staying in third gear and just keeping that torque going, I dropped down to second, which dropped me down to around about the high 40 in the mile an hour, the mile an hour range. Um, so, pretty shocking really. But, yeah, so that's more qualifying lap. Into the race itself for the Nations Cup round, whatever round this is, uh, I can't remember. But here we go. So, lose all my time at the chicane as you do, red arrows are doing the bits up in the sky and we're into the race so down in the right hand corner you can see that this guy uh, this uh, Swedish guy is creeping up on me on the inside but I think he dabbed his brakes just slightly and uh, lost out there if it had just took a bit of a better line which is throughout this race I managed to learn a much better line through most of these corners and gain a lot of time on people so lap three um, this is when I started getting closer to people as they made mistakes and things happened and yeah so this is one of the corners that I liked this little chicane here just cutting through just touched the uh, mickey over there but then cut in onto the grass here and just power out so that for me was m one of my corners that I found like my perfect way to gain a lot of time on the pack in front or the person in front because they weren't taking the corner like that they were taking it a bit more conservatively and again I lose it in the chicane because I'm a total pleb but luckily some people decided they were going to totally bottle it and I managed to gain a little bit of time on them so that was all right, not too bad. I'm up to 12th now. Can't remember where I started because I'm silly. And that guy's got a penalty. I get punted behind and managed to miss him. Mayhem's ensuing. I managed to get back on the track, but, but Mickey Martin and my E46 managed to get by me. So now it's just a case of what I can do in this situation here and how I can push myself to try and get further up. Uh, the pack up to the pack again, which I do give my little love tap by accident. Oh well, in a bit, it's racing, and uh, yeah, it happens. So, and again, I, I make the mistake and just I wasn't expecting the break because I, I, I didn't really break there, I braked a bit earlier so I could take the corner faster. But this Swedish dude, he, he bashed him his way up with the Jägermeister livery, he was not having, he was having none of it. He was absent, absolutely none of it. But it didn't matter as he absolutely bottle jobs it out onto the grass. And these people up here, one's got a penalty, the other one's done himself in there. I do this sweet ass move, two in one, mm, slip it between them. Now that, that is good racing. That's probably the best move I'll ever do. Now I'm looking for John. I think his name is John. John59, yeah. Looking for this French guy. And uh, it's just a case of utilising the lines that I was taking. So lap seven. This this call this chicane. I love this chicane in this car. Because I just 
pelted through without any difficulty. I didn't really take uh, put my foot onto the brake, give him a little love tap. I think it's because most people started braking early there, whereas I was braking a lot later. So I could try and hit their apex a bit faster and then power off a bit more and keep the momentum because this is what, this is what these races are more about when you're in these slower cars, it's about the momentum. So into lap 13, I'm now trying to pass Fangio 2. He's definitely not Fangio 1 because he'd be in first if it was. So he runs off slightly and I managed to go up the inside of him. And because it, 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 it's so slow, I did manage to keep the momentum where he lost a lot of his momentum when he went onto that grass. So luckily I managed to not hit him that time <laughs> and I managed to stay on, which was nice. And then this chicane here, I think, yeah, I get a little bit of a love a love tap from him, which sends me a little bit doolally. I was panicking at that point on the wheel. <laughs> but yeah, last lap, I thought I might be able to sneak fifth place. And yeah, me being me, watch what happens next. <laughs> it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. I bottle it. <laughs> I bottle it because why not? And I'm down into seventh. Fangio two goes and takes fifth place as we both bottle it. As I follow the Italian into the Shrek swamp of grass and just absolutely bottle it like a pleb. So speed it up a little bit and getting round to this chicane here. Again, I drop it into second gear like an idiot, but I managed to keep my momentum up. He gets a 0.5 second penalty. I think, can I just catch up with him slightly just to get on him, just to get that sixth place? No, I can't because, you know, three tenths in the way of it. Brilliant. Anyway. I thought it was an alright race, not too bad. And once again, Duty Sport giving me the clean race. But if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, comment your stuff, and I'll see you in a bit. Peace!